Let me Hello, it's Hazzy and Nord. And today we are going to play some Fay Farm. And thank you so much, Key Mailer, for the key. This game is by the developers of Phoenix Labs. This is not, just so y'all know, because usually we do indie games, this is not an indie game. Um, but I still was happy to get it because I'd kind of been keeping an eye on it because it looks adorable. Um, I played a little bit of it beforehand, um, and I still haven't, I haven't found the Fae yet, but <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. I, I think that I've seen some people say that they've been having a hard time with, like, I guess they don't like the characters so much or the dialogues kind of, kind of the same. And I saw that, but uh, I guess that doesn't matter to me as much because I'm enjoying what I've played so far. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have a complaint about it. And the cool thing about Fae Farm is that it also has online co-op. So in the future, me Cute. and Nord will probably yeah. be playing this together. Um, but yeah, it's an RPG farming sim, of course. Um, and before we play it, let's have Nord go ahead and read the description. So you say you haven't found a Fae, but have you found a farm? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Here we go. Escape to the magical life of your dreams in Fae Farm. A farm sim RPG for one to four players. Craft, cultivate, and decorate. Grow your homestead. And use spells to explore the enchanted isle of Azoria. So yeah, not just two of us, up to four. Yeah, up to if, four. All, all, only if we had friends. <laughs> I mean, we kind of do, but... Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, let's uh, jump in and I will start a new game so y'all can see it from the beginning so you'll know what to expect when you play this game. Of course, the Steam link is going to be down below in the descriptions if you're interested in this game. Okay, let's see. Let's come up with a name. Let's name let's name it something for Nord. What do you Haven want? Even Faye. No, uh, that's already that's that's stuff that has to do with my last one. I <laughs> I know cuz I thought Haven hey, Faye would be great, but I already used like those kinds Faye of names. Faye Monkey. Faye Monkey. Okay. Do you want it spelled F A E like in sure. Faye Farm or F Y E? Okay. Fay monkey. Do you want it one word or two? <laughs> Don't care. Okay. Fay monkey. Are you saying you're making a character based on me? Yes, I'm making a character based on you. Oh, I pity anybody who runs into that. No. Don't say that. Why did you say that? You're awesome, Nora. Don't you're say gonna that. Run into weird Everybody monkeyness. knows you're awesome. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> Everybody already knows you're awesome. So I'm going to make this character and call, call it Faye Monkey, and then we're going to make it look like Nord. Oh, we are? Yes. Oh. Well, as best as we can. As best as we can. May not look exactly like Nord. Um. So let's see. Do they have arthritis? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. If they don't have functions Do for you the... want the, the thinner body or the... I'm chonky. You're not the. I think you're a thinner body, though. You're not really chonky. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, I wanted to be chonky. Like, I worked really hard at it. <laughs> it's just. I guess it's just not in your genetics. You, you could take some of my chonkiness and I'll help. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll donate. Just share the chonk. <laughs> okay, let's see. You really like character creation. Yes, this is like my favorite portion. Okay, so I got I think this is kinda like Nord so far with the skin tone and the body type. Let's go to the eyes. Um They Soulless. have a lot of nice like for, for the heads. colors. <laughs> no, Nord. They have a lot of <laughs> nice like swatches for the for the colors, so I really I like that. Um what kind of eyes are they? What is a swatch? Um, like multiple colors that kind of just um, on a graph, oh, like they okay. go to like lighter to darker. Okay. They have a really, really you were, nice. You were swatches. speaking arts at me, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know arts. I, you know arts, but I think you're just not used to me talking like that. I think. Okay, this is for your eyes. So you have blue eyes. So we're gonna make blue eyes for this character. Thank you. Think about right here. 
Okay, then eyebrows. Did you find the palest possible? <laughs> I kind of. I mean, I was just like, well, this is close enough. It's okay. pretty pale. Eyebrow color. So we're going to give him kind of... It's a little bit too orange. <laughs> a little bit too orange. That's too yellow. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't have eyebrows. You know that. Your eyebrows are kind of light in color. So yeah, you, you don't notice them unless you're looking for eyebrows. Let's go with... I'm having a hard time with this. Okay, we'll go with this. And then... Let's see. <laughs> let's give him a smiley mouth. Okay, now we're going to pick a hairdo, so... That's my hairdo right there. Um, You know it. <laughs> you want to be bald? Um, <laughs> I feel like it, this is not as this is more bald than you. Yeah. <laughs> this is more bald than you. What about this hair? We'll give you a pompadour. <laughs> you look like Elvis. You can be a, a redheaded Elvis. I would rather not, but you can go with what you want. Okay, we'll give you this, and you'll look kind of like Tintin with this hair, I think. And then we'll. Switch it to... Hey, our kid has that style a lot. Yes. Oh, last night, our, our son he reminded me of uh, Tintin. Yeah? The way his hair was styled. And he oh. said, why do you say that? It's just because I have red hair or orange. He said orange hair. Yeah, he and doesn't I was like, like to call it red. Uh, no, it's just because, uh, you know, um, your hair was styled like it. <laughs> okay, which beard do you want? Okay, beardy. You're a beardy. We <laughs> could give you a this crazy handlebar mustache. No. I mustache you a question. <laughs> this one. This one. Okay, that one or two to the right. Mm. Between those. I think this one's more you. Or do you want no <laughs> facial hair? Man, I haven't had no facial hair since 2005. <laughs> okay, let's uh give it. A color. There we go. We'll make it match. Like, my facial hair is older than a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> okay, so some of this we won't be able to see, the facial detail, because it'll be covered up by the beard. So let's see what we've got here. And let's, let's color this something different that we can see, So just so we can see it. Um, we can change the color afterwards. We do this. Oh, I kind of like the lightning on the face. That's really cute. And I like it pink, actually. That's cute, too. Oh, you kind of have a heart peeping out underneath your beard. I think that's adorable. We might keep this. That sounds like something you would like. We might keep that heart. Where was it? I don't see where it was. Oh, there it is. Okay. Or we could give him a moon on his head with sparkles. Or another moon on his head with more sparkles. We can give him this cool, like, scar. Here's an X. You do seem very happy with the option. Yeah, I do. they're cute. They did give us cute options. And this is kind of like cat marks, but I think the heart is the cutest. It kind of peeps out of from the beard. I think that's adorable. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's adorable. All right, we're going to do this. And I'm going to take a screenshot because it's freaking adorable. <laughs> All right, adorable. Okay. Uh, do you want they, them, or he, sure. him? Okay. And then we got to find the boyfriend. <laughs> ah, I like that one. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, I think that's probably going to fit you more. Yeah! Or that one. <laughs> or that one. Which one do you want? I think it's between... You may pick. I don't know my own voice as well as you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's that one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going with it because it's funny. But this one... <laughs> this one... I like that laugh so much. But I think we're going to go with voice six. I think that's what we're going to go with. Okay, we've got character creation completed. We got out of that, y'all, and it didn't take us uh, more than, you know. 
80 years. 10 minutes. It took us about 10 minutes to get through that. So that's I'm it. impressed. <laughs> it looks like you've been here before. Would you like to skip ahead to chapter two? Okay, so I didn't know this because this is the first time I've had a second like save. So if you don't want to do chapter one, you can skip and you've done chapter one in, an, in a... A previous say, yeah, then you can skip it and go to chapter two. But we're gonna do the chapter one so y'all can see it. So we're gonna start at the beginning. So that's cool because your tools, fishing rod, critter net will be level one and your beginner inventory will be empty. So you'll have that kind of stuff, but you'll be starting at chapter two if you wanted to do that. But we're gonna start at the beginning so y'all can see it. And another reason I'm doing this <laughs> this way too is because I want Nord to be able to um, see this. Walking along on the beach one day, s staring at the sand. A Sounds like you were getting ready to do a song. <laughs> a message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land. That sounds like a song. It does. The author described an island in need, one like no other, and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly. I set off with adventure in my heart and the wind behind me. The voyage was dangerous and my boat was shattered. I clung to the wreckage, my sail in tatters. Suddenly, the waters calmed and then I saw it. Chapter 1, Welcome to Azoria. Way to go. You already made it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of work, you know? You want to get through you that character creation. multiple things. <laughs> I like the art. Yes, it's so adorable. It reminds me of like Polly Pocket from when I was oh, a kid. Oh, yeah. And so I think it's just freaking cute. What was it that also came with Polly Pocket? They had some others at the same time. I don't remember because Polly Pocket was all I played with. I don't remember anything else. At I just the time. remember like it was done by the same people who did Micro Machines. Oh, was it? That, that makes really sense because cool. Polly Pocket was also tiny. Like, yeah. you'd get these little compacts. Like, mm -hmm. make it looks like makeup compact, mm -hmm. and you would open it up, and there would be, be like, like a, a little house. house. Yeah, yeah, it was really cute. I had, I had like several Polly Pockets. I didn't have a lot because um, I, I just didn't. Oh, uh, there was the littlest pet shop as well that I had at the time too. I wonder if anybody remembers the littlest pet shop because I thought those that was adorable too. I kind of wish I had held on to that stuff, but I didn't, so I don't have it anymore. Dude, okay. like, if we had known the stuff to hang on to. <laughs> yeah, Polly Pockets look very different now, you know, have you oh, seen they, they're that? Oh, they're doing them again? Yeah, they're doing Polly Pockets now. They're not, when I, I remember looking at them, they're not as small as I remember them being when I was a kid. Yeah, they're it's a little probably, bit larger. Probably harder to make. Than that small, you think? Yeah. Okay, let's get to let's get this party started. Okay, Merritt says hi, and Merritt is the mayor of Azoria. Sounds like a mayor name. Yeah. My goodness, look at what the tide brought in. Are you okay? Your name is Hazzy's, and you found a message in a bottle. My name's not Hazzy's. I said Fay Monkey. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I was the one who threw it into the ocean. I can't believe that worked. I'm Mayor Merritt. A pleasure to meet your soggy self. Maybe it was the name of the of your house instead that I just named. Uh, Bay Monkey. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I should have re read the fine print or something. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're you getting. You never know. Oh, the house? Yes, it's still available. Actually, you're the only one who has tried to make it to our island. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with kind and cozy friends. My favorite kind. But <laughs> we're, su we're surrounded by whirlpools. There's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there's an active volcano that has been threatening to go off. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should be so safe thing. Like, whoa, dude. Um, sounds like you got some problems. <laughs> Lots of natural disasters waiting to happen. But, I mean, it's an island. So I think most... So you're in Japan. Well, I think most islands, they have a lot of like, you know, natural disasters are like a thing that that is the thing, you know? Yeah. No, it's it's significantly likely because a lot of them are created by volcanoes. Yeah. And then you, 
if you're right next to the ocean, you have all the disasters that yeah. could come with that. So yeah, it makes sense. I mean, even where we're at, we have, po I mean, because we're in the Pacific Northwest, there are possible disasters that could happen for us too. I know not Lies. knock on, knock on wood, there hasn't been a lot, but there are possible disasters that could happen. And we are also uh, have some volcanoes around here too. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> There's also the wild magic that swept through and animated a bunch of junk, but we managed to shove them all into the mine. And don't even get me started on the shade and thorns. Yup, Azoria is a real paradise. Oh, no, no um. don't go. Well, you can't actually go because of the whirlpools, but I can't. Sw I can sweeten the deal. I'll have my patented welcome package sent to your house. And look, a fun map that shows you where everyone and everything can go be found. Go on and check out your new home. Okay. So moving in. So we need to discover and enter our home. And we need to open our welcome package. And the other thing I want to say about this game too that I really like is this is really great for beginners. Like if you are if you did if you haven't played like Stardew. I think this is a good like place to start for these kinds of games. Um, I have played Stardew, but I wasn't very good at it. And I still consider myself a, a beginner when it comes to this stuff. Because I feel like it's maybe on kind of on the level of like Animal Crossing. So it's like perfect for like beginners. I, and that's something I really enjoy about this. I like cute stuff and I like stuff that's just really easy to get into. You know what I mean? So... I, I really enjoy this kind of stuff. I get you. I promise you'll love it here. Okay, Dude. open map. That that sound? That mm -hmm. was like Curious Expedition for me. The way it sounded? Uh -huh. Oh, that is something about this game. I really like the sound feedback oh, that they okay. give you. It, it sounds really good. Like when you're chopping wood, it sounds good. When you turn in a quest, it's like a bling. It's it really like... It's it almost kind feedback. of... Yeah, and it's kind of a... It's a little bit like of addictive, addictive noise. You know what I mean? Kind of like you what came it. with um, uh, Vampire Survivors. Yes, like the yeah, you get that bling, and then it kind of sets off a thing in your head. <laughs> like like it's oh, like, that's satisfying. It's like gambling. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. It's it's a satisfying noise when you like turn in a quest or you find something. So they have these scrolls, Nord. So I'm telling Nord, Nord does not know anything. So everything I'm saying right I now. I do not know anything. This, this is, is the first. I mean about Fay Farm. <laughs> this is the first time he's hearing it. But they have these scrolls around the island that give you like recipes and stuff that you can buy. But when you pick up the scrolls, the scrolls also have a really nice feedback that's kind of addictive as well. So now we're going to go find the house. And of course, there are other citizens over here like Emily. Good to see you. I love watching the blossoming trees in spring. And you can open up her shop. Emily's eccentric extras. Emily's got a great nook to read a book. Ah, there you are. I miss the snow, but spring weather's fine too. Okay, well, we're not gonna bother to- Ooh. This character's very cute too. Charles. Spring is the best time of year. It feels like everything in nature is coming back to life. It depends on where you live, Charles. <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of cute characters. There's another cute character right here. I really like this this character with the green hair. It's adorable, too. But we're going to try not to get distracted, even though <laughs> easier said than done. And look at the cute ladybug. We'll figure out the ladybug stuff uh, where we catch the bugs later. But for right now, we have to go to the house. That one's fun. Hey, welcome to your new home. You weren't kidding about those sound effects. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> There you go. It's very good sound feedback when you do stuff like this. I really like it. Mm -hmm. It sounds very shiny. <laughs> like like you're just like, oh, I discovered a thing. I really like it. You got a you got a backpack inventory. You can press I to open your backpack and view or use items you collect along your journey. 
So let's go ahead. So here is our inventory. But we're going to go ahead and close it because we don't have anything in it. But I just wanted to make sure. And then if you open your map and you see this stuff, like, um, it shows you who you need to, like, who, who like, who your whose quest you're working on and kind of, like, what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And you can also, when you open the map, uh, you can, so, like, I can't seem to do it right now. But you can select whether you want to, like have something um, show you where something is. I'll show it to y'all in a little bit, but when we get another quest. Okay. Hello there. Thanks again for coming to Azoria. I hope you'll stay a long time. <laughs> I don't have a choice. <laughs> Moving in, redeemed. So what do you think of your new home? Welcome kit was pretty sweet, right? Oh, I forgot to check the mail. I need to check the mail after this. I knew you'd love it. Azoria is the perfect place to live, assuming you're okay with magical thorns and suspicious weather patterns. Why don't you try giving your home its own name? Give it that special Hazzy's touch. Actually, this is Fey Monkey, so let's n let's ignore what she says about that. But okay, what do we need? Want to name the home Nord? Home Nord. Home Nord. <laughs> okay. Don't tell me what you named it. That's just between you and your farm. Speaking of farm, this house comes with one, right? Right here. This is the farm. That's okay. It has been seen better days and will require some elbow grease. But you survived a whirlpool, so it's nothing you can't handle. You know, it's <laughs> funny in all these games. Like Everybody has like really, really substantial expectations on what a normal person can do. <laughs> True. Like, you survived this. You'll be fine. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, I need an adult. <laughs> Besides, it shouldn't take too long to tidy up the place. Not with your own set of brand new tools. Okay, you got a, a set of starter tools. Using your tools is easy. Go to objects and press the left button, mouse button, the right tool for the job will be used automatically. And you'll have to get on Amazon later and order a whole bunch of new Allen key rings. <laughs> no, make, that was just me. <laughs> just make sure to keep an eye open on your energy. Or an eye on your energy. With those beginner tools, you can get all kinds of things done. And you can upgrade them later at Cinder's Smithy by the docks to tackle tougher jobs. Try clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass, harvesting um, arugula from the land around your home. You can keep all the materials you can gather okay and so there we're gonna get the tidy we're gonna do the tidying up quest and so we got to get plant fibers we have to pick up stones we have to pick up beach logs and we got to get arugula you like that i do like arugula arugula's yummy he really Let's is a fan see. folks i really am can i okay so you gotta click click on their spot here homestead and then you can Click on like the quest that you want to uh, you want it to track. So we clicked on homestead. So when you do that, it like will show you up above your head of where you want to go. But we're gonna check the mail first. Welcome to Azoria, day one of spring, year one. Dear future friend, once upon a time, an island called Azoria glittered like a multicolored gem in the ocean. This land was home to many friendly and hardworking souls, but life had become difficult to them. Magical hardships had deprived them of their coziness and separated them from their friends and even their homes. But I, Mayor Merritt, know that someone like you can help us. Someone who wants to farm, explore, and have an adventure or two. Lately, even reaching our island requires a treacherous journey through turbulent seas, but a brave adventurer can overcome any dangers. Will you join us in Azoria? Like Nord keeps saying, do we have a choice? <laughs> we don't. I feel like you've set some stuff up, uh, Mayor. <laughs> okay, so this is the that scrolls. That is your real name. Look, Nord, these are the scrolls I'm telling you about. You can pick these up, and it'll give you new um, recipes. Oh, So cool. we got customization mirror was our discovered recipe. I do like when it's easy to um, to get uh, to learn stuff like that, and, yeah. and that you know. Because like, sometimes crafting 
you like you discover new things, but you're not sure if you ha what it is. Yeah. And all that sort of stuff. This is really making like the UI on this. It's mm -hmm. it works. Yep, and it's very simple, and I think that's what I like about it. Um, the, the other thing too is so if you come up and you're gonna, since we have to harvest um, plant fibers, so you want to come to these plants, but you want to make sure that the square underneath the plant lights up because if you just click on like the top of it but you know how it is in some of these games is just kind of like that yeah um, you have to be specific oh and here's another room. <laughs> and we got jute rug <laughs> and as you can see in the top left it's using up energy as we do this of course and then you can get your energy up uh just by eating so Sleeping. does it replenish on its own, or do you have to do stuff to get it? Oh, no. You, you have to do stuff to get it. Like, I you see. cook food, and then you can eat to get get it filled back up if you need it. Okay, good to know. Okay, what else do I need to pick up stone? Pick up beach logs. Okay, this is too strong for us to chop. So let's skip that. And let's also pick up arugula. So do I know what arugula looks that. like. It's not too strong for you to chop. You just did all that stuff. By the way, I was not words in there. Strong to drop. <laughs> we just made it through whirlpools. We should be strong enough. Yeah, exactly. See? They believed we could do everything just a couple seconds ago. Now they're like, you can't chop down a tree. Whatever. Well, it was just harder wood. I know. <laughs> but it was, it was like a tree log. I'm just saying, they go from believing you can do everything to, eh, this, is a, this tree's too hard. Yeah. But that Your always character is so adorable. Well, thank you. It's based <laughs> on me. When we get this game for you, you gotta make a character that looks like this. I think I'll have you make a character that looks <laughs> like this. You're the one that loves a character. Yes, I do like the character. You should. I think people have realized that that's a really um, enjoyable aspect to games because it's been taken a lot more seriously in recent years. The character than it used creation, to be. Yeah. yeah, that's really fun. I don't know. Like I think I think Fallout Four was when it first like became like a huge deal, mm. where it was like a game was. I gotta believe it's maybe not Fallout. 4. Like I, Skyrim had pretty good. Um, character creation, I think. If you say so. You don't think so? I, I'll i agree to disagree. Yeah, I don't remember. It's been a while, but... I didn't think the details were that extensive in that one. Were the details more extensive in, um, Fallout 4? Yes, significantly. Like, I think it was really the first one where a lot of I people... I just can't create... remember. That's why I'm asking. I think it was the first one where a lot of people could create characters that look like themselves. Ah. Okay, we're gonna head back to Merit. Ah! Uh -uh. Hi! Happy to have you around! Okay, let's redeem our quest. Ooh! Them those noises. Mm hmm Nice job. Now that you've got some space cleared, how about I show you how to use it? In order to make something, you'll need to construct it yourself, but it's as easy as falling down. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> see, see, you, see, you can build all kinds of things indoors and outdoors. Just gather the raw materials and then start construction. If you don't know what materials you need, just check your almanac. If you, if I, to <laughs> I'm sorry, I messed up there. I told you about the almanac, right? It's like a guidebook to Azoria that you fill in. Isn't that fun? Back to construction. Let's start by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. You'll learn by doing. Okay, so we gotta craft a stool inside the house. So let's go in. Hopefully I have the materials from what I just did, because if not, well, we're gonna and have to- Then you're heading back out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know Let's how many see. times I've like gone like way over on harvesting initially and then you like go like days in game before you have to harvest again so I'm just one of those types of people like as soon as I could start gathering that's what I'm doing <laughs> okay we did it yay 
Yay! Hey, so tell me about what you enjoyed today. What do you mean? Did you have, like, a brand new type of brownie? <laughs> yes. Um, I had a brownie that was, instead of using butter, I used, um, applesauce. It was good, actually. It's, okay, it's not, like, as, uh, satiating or, like... Stick to the ribs. Yeah, like, one with butter, like... Like the ones with butter, I think are heavier, but the but the brownie with um, applesauce actually was kind of spongy and I kind of it's pretty good though. Um, uh -huh. I like it's lighter. It's it's a lighter brownie, but I like it, and that makes it so I can actually have a brownie and not like feel guilty about it. Yeah. So. and that's what's important. Hi, happy to have you around. Okay. Cottage construction redeemed. It's like you've been doing this your whole life. <laughs> yeah, lady, we're all about that cottage core. Really, I'm impressed. Generally speaking, you can build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up your farm is up to you. Uh -huh. Oh, and we've already built you a mailbox. Miles, the postman, will deliver your letters and packages first thing in the morning, so don't forget to check your mail. Oh, I know what you should build next. A cooking fire. Having a cooking fire on your farm is the easiest way to cook up a hot meal. You can always make fancier equipment later. There's all kinds of things you could cook on your cooking fire. I've seen some arugula around, but there's <laughs> mussels on the beach too. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. Okay, so we got to craft... We have to craft and place a cooking fire and then we gotta cook something on it. I think we'll head to the beach to pick up mussels like she suggested as well. <laughs> So I'm thinking I want to put the cooking fire, like, right here. What do you think about eating mussels? Um, I like mussels. Um, I like clams more than mussels, but I mm -hmm. like mussels. I do not like oysters. That's the only thing you're not going to get me to eat is probably oysters. I do not like oysters. Even fried oysters are terrible. I think in that category, like, scallops are, like, the best. Ooh, I like scallops. I love scallops. And I wasn't even consider. I don't consider scallops even in that category. That's you don't? because no, because I, they taste like like yes, meat, I'm, meat. Like they don't taste like yeah, but they you know, come from the same stuff. That's true. But I've never seen a scallop in its shell. That's why I don't think of it like oh, that. But I've yeah. seen clams in their shells. Yeah, true. No, they don't normally hand you a scallop in no, a shell. No, they never do. So I don't think of them the same way. I guess because of that. That makes sense. Okay, we are going to set the fire up, and then after we set up the fire, what we'll do is we'll go get some mussels. Muscles. But not muscles on our body, muscles on the beach. <laughs> uh, let's see. There was a, like, Cockles and Muscles song that I remember having to learn in school a long time ago. And uh, I had no idea what they were at the time. I'm just like, I'm going to sing this. Sure, whatever. <laughs> whatever you want. What are we singing about? I don't know. Some old people stuff. Yeah, old people. They told me I had to do this, so I did it. We got a clay pot recipe. Maybe Ooh. we'll have some good clay pot cooking in the future. I don't know. Oh, damn. Yeah, this is... I love this. Look at this. And then... <laughs> it's just so much fun. Alright, that's how you know that character isn't based on me, because no bad knees from this. <laughs> and you flipped? Did you see that? Mm -hmm. uh, you want to try to hit it on the... We're totally getting distracted again. That's okay! Look at the flip! Isn't nice. that cool? Good work. <sighs> okay. Okay, we can... Stop getting distracted. <laughs> no, we're only another. doing the important things here. The only important things here. That's all, that's all we can focus on here is important things. We have time or nothing else. No dilly-dallying over here. Mm -mm, not me. <laughs> okay, let's go this way and go to the beach. We're going to go to the beach. I think this way and then go to the right. And then make sure to pick up the scrolls that you can. We got a recipe for an anvil. Oh, and there's another scroll under here. 
<laughs> we got a checkered peach checkered rug. Have you ever seen many or have you seen many anvils in real life? Uh, no, but I have once. We went to Scarborough Fair and mm -hmm. I saw one there. My uh, grandfather had one in his. Not um, Scar. Was it Scar? Not is it called Scar? Was it Scarborough Fair? Or um, like medieval whatever. It's a medieval place that I don't remember. Maybe I don't remember what it was called. It was in was it Texas. the North Texas one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't call that Scarborough Fair. They called it something else. But you know, it was that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, simple One of the major cuts. organizers is listening to this and like, no, they're different. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of it. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say it was Scarborough Fair for some mm -hmm. reason. It was like a Renaissance Fair or something. I don't know. Maybe it was Scarborough Fair. <laughs> I pick up anything over here. You're just busy enjoying your um <sighs> that band. From the 70s that you used to listen to. Oh, it's um, Simon and Garfunkel. Yes. Says Scarborough. Yeah. Yes. If I have to make you say what it is, it's not really a good reference. But, you know, <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> okay, so we have food now, so we should be able to use this. And an increased bounciness. Okay, so let's cook the mussels first. I said moose skulls because I was thinking it was spelt like muscles on your body. It's not. It's just two S's. <laughs> I just forgot about it until I saw this. So I was like, okay. It's all good. <laughs> We're going to prepare all five of them. Oh, I don't want to close it. Uh, prepare. And then we're going to prepare all six of these. And then we'll collect them as soon as they're done. It's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I really like the sounds that they've got going on in here. And the sound feedback for the activities, like when you're cooking mm -hmm. and when you're you're cutting wood, and that's it's really good. It's funny because like you don't notice it if it's done really well mm -hmm. for the most part until you like do one where it's like not properly timed mm -hmm. and isn't done well and it doesn't really give you much feedback and then you're like whoa hold on <laughs> when they don't have good feet like when they don't have good feedback especially sound feedback and mm -hmm. also i like having things light up yes but when they don't do that if you don't have something lighting up and you don't have good uh sound feedback sometimes i'm just like did that even happen yeah you're like hold on let so, me check my inventory and then i end up having to either and i will redo things because i'm not sure if it happened because I didn't hear it or I yep. didn't see it because there was no lighting up. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, have you ever experienced in a game where you save something and you're oh not sure God. if you've saved it because so there was no again. feedback? So you go back and save it again just to be sure? Mm-hmm. Like, I have that problem constantly with some games. I have definitely done that one. Okay. So we did that. So we got to go back to Merit now. Like four different saves within 15 seconds of each other. <laughs> yeah. Just making sure, all right? Hi. Thanks again for coming. I keep repeating it because I'm just, I'm reading everything because it's just force of habit, y'all. I, I know she's repeating it. Let me see what you've cooked. Bravo. You see with a cooking, you see with a cooking fire, you can roast and toast to your heart's content. Home cooked food always tastes best, I say. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw and sells for more money at the market, too. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment. You know, get jazzy with it. Get <laughs> jazzy with it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. When is Merrick going to teach me about farming? Actually, I was thinking about you saying getting jazzy with it. <laughs> right. right now, let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beds. You know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction materials in your storage shed. You have a storage shed, by the way. Go get the materials in your storage shed. Then construct some soil beds on your farm and plant one seed in each. You know, if every time 
you had like a percentage by whatever you're trying to grow IRL mm -hmm. and it told you what how likely you are to be to succeed yeah I think it would be a lot less disappointing than when stuff dies <laughs> yeah it's like I, ah, I only had a 30% chance of making that work anyways <laughs> yeah soon you'll be enjoying fresh Azorian produce you are going to be so self-sufficient you can thank me later Alrighty then. Okay, we want this. As he's like, shut up and give me food. I don't know. How okay, there's nine. Okay. And we'll take we'll take the wood too. Okay, I don't know if we need this, so we're gonna transfer this over. And we'll just hold on to this stuff for now. Okay, and then before we start, because we're a little low on energy, let's go ahead and eat. Sounds smart. Yeah, that's definitely some feedback right there. Yeah, I like it. Good, like I said, good sounds. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe eat a little bit more because we have some muscles. Okay. So we're gonna clear out this area right here and then we'll put put a we'll put a little garden here. That sounds like you. What? <laughs> Putting in a little garden. We're gonna start out small. I think, I know they want only three, but I think what we're going to do is have like eight or something like that. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the, the one we can't, um, can't cut. We don't have a strong enough axe, I think. We got to upgrade that. One day. One day. One day. One day. One day, Fey Monkey will be... We'll be strong enough to... Well, we'll have made money <laughs> to get to upgrade his equipment. So, is it the day like you is have, not that day. <laughs> it's it only like day one. Is it like you have a different um, type of material on your axe? Or do you no, have to... No, you have to... I think you have to go to, like... There's a blacksmith here. Mm -hmm. You go to the blacksmith, and I think he upgrades it for you. Oh, that's cool. So, it's a little bit different, because you know how some of them, you, like, get the Completely materials. Completely replace it. Yeah. So this is, you take the old one and make it better rather than... Just... That's what I understand. I haven't gotten to that point yet because I've only been to, like, day two. <laughs> uh -huh. So... <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put it right here. I think we're gonna do like um, eight. So we'll do like four and then. Cow. Now, brown cow. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, craft, press to plant the seeds. Okay. Oh, that's right. I have to press C to get to the catalog. Okay. And then we'll do this. Okay, and then we're going to exit out of this and then... Okay, I'm not certain... Okay, maybe I gotta go to the build catalog. Okay. We want the seeds. Okay, so maybe this is not how you you plant it. Okay. Eh, so maybe we have to... We wanna exit the construction and then let's open up the inventory. I'm glad you're walking through this. 
I can't remember how to do it. Okay, we don't want to move it. We just want to use it. <laughs> we just want to we just want to plant. Oh, okay. So I'm, we don't have to do anything except for just c click on this. But remember, so you have to leave construction and then you just go to your inventory. You don't even go to your inventory. You can just click on this. If you have seeds in your inventory, it looks like you can plant it. Is what oh. I'm understanding. Okay. Oh. And then to put your seeds away, you'll have them in your hand. Mm -hmm. and so to put your seeds away, just right click. Oh, well that's convenient. So it's like right. left click, use, right click, uh, cancel. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to water them. Okay, so then let's go over here and water. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to get your screenshots yeah, here. Yeah, I got screenshots. So my little tiny garden we're starting out with. You gotta have the screenshots. Okay. Whenever I'm doing one of these, Hazzy's like, get screenshots! Because <laughs> I just get immersed in the game and forget to get them. Uh -huh. Hi! Happy to have you around. Being the quest. From humble beginnings. <laughs> Wonderful job. Soon your fields will be sprouting with ground grown goodness. Say that three <laughs> times fast. Ground grown goodness. Wait. Ground grown goodness. Ground grown goodness. Ground grown goodness. <laughs> Like, I don't know. <laughs> that didn't go so well. <laughs> like, I saw somebody else do this on a stream, and they did it perfectly, and I thought I would be able to, too, obviously. Ground-grown goodness. Ground-grown goodness. Ground-grown goodness. <laughs> See, it started, your mouth starts to get weird. Just Nord's showing off. Just don't forget to water your seeds. They won't grow unless they're watered. Though, if it rains, you can skip a day. I hope you keep tending to your fields. As farmers always say, don't leave them alone. Ha ha. Oh Dad God. jokes over here. Oh my God. <laughs> You've done so much to improve your farm already. I bet you weren't even thinking about that harrowing journey across the ocean. Oh, you should meet your neighbors. Word has probably already spread that you're here. We're a bit of a small town, you see. You should go talk to Eddie, the mariner. He's probably near his home in Stay a While Bay. We'll have a fish tail or two to share. Okay. Now you're just making up names. Let's, before we leave, let's make sure we have enough energy. Let's eat some. So getting asked to say something weird can do it. Just regular talking. <laughs> <laughs> These are berries over here. Okay, so let's go some, do some cooking real quick. Sounds delicious. Oops. And then hopefully this will be enough to fill up our energy levels. So do different foods like contribute different amounts? A, or do you just kind of have to guess? Um, it says you just hover over it. Like right now, these cooked berry, toasted berries is plus seven, uh -huh. and um, grilled greens is plus fifteen. Oh, so kind of similar to um, BSD. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, a lot of games kind of do that a little bit, but mm -hmm. yeah. Seems like our energy is not even moving. I don't know. I can't see it because it's actually blurred out, but let's see what happened. Did it move? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it did move. I just saw it underneath. Okay. Maybe we'll look at, we'll get a few more toasted berries, I think, just in case we're gonna need it while we're out, because we're gonna go talk to Eddie. I'm not- I don't remember what we have to do. I think we're gonna do some fishing. Um, but... Sounds right. I'm looking around for some arugula right now. 
But I just want to make sure we have enough. Hey, there's another. I'm glad I looked over here because there's another scroll. <laughs> and catch. we got field stone fence. Another cool thing. So it's a stone fence for your fields? Uh, Am I understanding yes. that? Okay. Like for your yard or farm, whatever uh, you want to call it. Yeah. Farm yard. Yard farm. <laughs> yard farm. Um... <laughs> Farm for the yard. Okay, let's see. Let's do some more cooking and then we'll head out. Okay, so nine. But you see what I mean? Like each berry that gets cooked goes ding. It's just like a nice. Yeah, it's a good I don't feedback. Know. No, really. Um... It's probably giving me the like, what is that called? That, that um, natural like, <laughs> like hormone that you get from that good, that good sound because you're doing something. Mm -hmm. I know what you're talking about. We read a thing on it related to why dopamine. They, That's what it was. It was why they, the dopamine hit? <laughs> why uh, for um, slot machines they they do the certain things? It's, I think it's probably why like some something like uh, why like some gambling machines are super addictive. I'm just glad I avoid that stuff. Yeah, I am not a gambler either. I already pay the stupid tax on enough other things. <laughs> Okay, it's done. So, I guess if you wanted to, like, cook and then go away, you could leave it there and it would, I guess it would oh, cook for you. really? Yeah, because you can put in multiple things. Mm -hmm. Um, But I have never, I haven't done that yet. So, you know. <laughs> Something to think about in the yeah. future. So, we want to figure out where Eddie's is. So, you just go to your map and then track that. And so, see, on your screen, Nord, it kind of points in the direction of where you need to go. Mm-hmm. That is convenient. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Because I was Ooh, kind of wondering, because you don't have a mini map, but no, that that works just as well, if not better. Yeah, I personally like it a lot. I'm just looking around for scrolls while I'm doing this, so if you see me kind of, it seems like I'm, I'm distracted again, it's because I am. I'm actually looking for scrolls. <laughs> no, I understand. Maybe I'll just scroll over here. No, but there's a lot of berries. Let's pick up these berries. Oop, here's another scroll. <laughs> Iron fence. fancy fencing going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, tea leaves. This is the first time I've noticed this. I haven't gotten that before. Ooh, Has is going to be happy now. I don't know what's going on with this this stone right here. That is not something I've figured out yet. So I'm wondering maybe it has something to do with the opening the fae. I have not yet opened the fae. So that'll be a thing that I will be happy because that's—I mean, that's, isn't that the reason, real reason that we're playing? We're trying to—I want the Fay Farm, you know. <laughs> this it is, is the truth. Oh, <gasps> scared me! I didn't mean to jump all the way down. <laughs> Ooh, Hoppy Fish Vase. Or happy. I read it as hoppy because it was like jumping around. I'm so happy that I'm hoppy. Okay. Come up here really quick to see if I missed anything because there may be like a scroll over here. No? Okay. Ooh, I don't know what's going on with this. It looks like bad stuff. I bet you it has something to, to do with 
the bat like she was saying that they had a volcano stuff maybe it had something to do with the volcano i don't really know though don't want to miss it's not something yeah it's not something i figured out yet i'm gonna skip most of the oh my backpack's already full Eh, we don't really need the rock right now, so we're going to drop the rock. How does he feel about that? What? How does he feel about it? I don't know. But I would like to get the mussels because it's food. Because that's what the rock is about? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> All right. We'll hang on to this. I don't know. We're... Oop, there's another scroll. This is why you want to... Check it all out. Squid vase. Yeah, you want to check everything out so you can discover all of that stuff. Cool beans. Do you want to read Eddie's? Hello there. Now, which is the tastiest fish of all? Meeting the neighbors redeemed. Good to see you, Hazzies. If no one's told you, I'm Eddie, Azoria's old mariner. I heard you've got a little farm going. I won't hold that against you, even though fishers and farmers have been at odds forever. Never mind that. You haven't lived until you fished, believe me. Give me the seas over the trees any day. Why not both? <laughs> How about old Eddie gives you a quick lesson in the art of the rod and reel? Dog! I'm ready whenever you are, Hazzy. <laughs> All right. Go out there and catch a fish. And any kind you like. Sail or salt or freshwater. I'll even give you my old rod. May it serve you well. Yeah, I can talk well, except when I'm far away trying to read. <laughs> now hold out your rod and cast it so your bobber lands near the mouth of the fish. Of the fish. And you reel it in a bit at a time. Not too fast. The hypnotic motion should encourage the fish to strike. When the fish is bitten, you get to reeling fast. Not all at once, though. If your line turns red, it's ready to break. Best stop for a moment until it turns white again. There's always a different type of uh, fishing mini game in every yeah, game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, we got this. It's gonna be like the nope. It's not like the others. White, red, whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, keep it up, and with a little luck, you'll reel in a prize. Go fishing, and come tell me all about it. You're ready. Okay, so we're gonna have to drop something. Um, yes, we'll drop. Let's drop this stuff too. If we need to. We'll just we'll get it again at the beach later. I just this is, this is how Hazzy is really. She's like always picking up the sand dollars. <laughs> I stopped doing, we go to the beach, I always look for sand dollars, I don't know why, and I did pick up some sand dollars when we first came to the beach because I didn't go to the beach often before we moved out here, but then I had to stop because we had so many and I was like, I'm going to do an art project with it, and I never did an art project, so they sat there, so I was like, I need to stop picking up sand dollars. Oh, look at this, we got to scroll over here and over there. But before we go fishing, let's get a th let's get these scrolls. I'm trying to jump on it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> nautical rug. So nautical. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, nautical. Here's another one. Woven rug. Okay, let's go over here and try to fish it. I'm not meaning to jump in the water. <laughs> sure. Okay. That's the wrong one.
Oh, yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Okay, we're gonna hold it. Gotta jig it a little, a little. Jiggle a little. Come on! Notice me! Okay. And then what turns red? Stop. Serves a fish. Okay. How many do we have to get? One. Oh, one. Okay. It says my backpack's full. I thought I dropped stuff. You did, but now you have another rock and more sand always. Maybe because you walked over them. Oh. I didn't realize I dropped I walked over them. I'll try to walk around them. Alright, let's go talk to Eddie. Oh great, I just picked up something else I don't want. We're gonna drop it. <laughs> Alright. Try talking to Eddie now. Do you want to read Eddie's part for this part? Will do. Let me come over there. Hello, land lover. Once caught a tuna that was so big it nearly swallowed my ship with me on it. Fed a whole town for a week. On fish and redeemed. <laughs> ah, you seem to have done well for yourself, Hazzy. Tell me how the fishing went. <laughs> well done, my friend. You're on the way to becoming a marine master. Maybe you'll even leave the farm for the seas one day, like I did. But enough of that. Taught you all I can. I've seen you grow... <laughs> Okay, that, that, that's it? Okay, then. <laughs> then you grow from a minnow to a sardine. I think it's time you spoke with our local beekeeper. Mel, the beekeeper, can teach you about critter catching, and you are going to want to pay attention to that. As he does like getting bees. I do. Well, we can get more than bees. We can also get, like, ladybugs and... And cool other critters. Critters, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. I want to try to go fishing again. But I don't see you a would. fish nearby. Eh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, now let's go see where Mel is at. We're going to want our bags clear anyways because we're going to catch some critters. Or at least that's the plan. <laughs> okay, here's Mel, and here's a scroll. Okay, clay brick path. Yeah, I think I want to use that clay brick path. Uh, before we go over there, I'm just checking out if there's another scroll over here that I want to get. I haven't, I haven't seen yet. I am totally getting this track done. No, you're on target. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to jump up and I can't do it. Here we go. Okay. Okay, okay. Back back to business. There we go. Oh, uh, Mel is so cute. <laughs> do you want to read Mel? Mel's an old beekeeper. I think you'll like him. He has a really adorable hat with a oh, sunflower. Oh, there you are. Oh. It's time to cast your line for white perch, river cod, and salmon. Ooh. A new face. I heard someone washed up on the shore. I could hardly believe it. As he's at. So nice to meet you. You must have been a lucky clover in your, or must have had a lucky clover in your boot to have made it past the whirlpools. Well, that's where you keep them, I guess. I'm Mel. I hope everyone is treating you well. It's been so long since we've had someone new on the night. The bees have all been a buzz about it. 
<laughs> More dad joke. You moved into the abandoned farm? Wonderful! Hey, since you're new here, let me show you how we catch bees and other critters here on Azoria. And Arizona. Azoria is a haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us Arizonans by a wide margin. Now don't worry about how the critters feel about it. I've developed the most gentle, cozy critter net. It's like getting scooped up by a cloud. All right, SpongeBob. Here, you've always got an extra net just in case. Yay, you got a critter net. Quick your net and swing it to catch a critter. To improve your chances, ready your net and approach the critter slowly. Why don't you go take a couple of swings and catch a few critters? Then come back and show me. I just know you're gonna catch the critter catching bug. <laughs> okay. You gotta get four. All right, critter catching time. Okay, so we need to equip our net. Look at that. Is that not adorable? That's How do you swap between the items? Like... Um, the the mouse wheel. Oh, so you scroll it. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's convenient. Mm -hmm. I thought. I think so too. Let's. Oh, butterfly. Wait, what? I'm not trying to get the pedestal. I'm trying to get the butterfly. No. Gotta switch back to you. Oh, yeah, I just realized that. <laughs> well, I didn't have my net. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. Butterfly. Good job. Yes. Fancy. Yes. I like me. I'm fancy, too. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I try to be. I'm not. <laughs> am I fancy, Nord? You are fancy. How am I fancy? Those hair colors. <laughs> yes, you're right. I do have fancy hair colors. That's not a lie. <gasps> hey, it's a lightning bug or firefly. They call them fireflies in here. I don't know why sometimes I call them lightning bugs. Yeah, different parts of the country. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a different... Uh... Ah! <laughs> yeah! I'm in my. Good job, Hazzy. I'm wondering if there's a snail nearby, but I don't see any. I got a snail last time I was playing. They're very cute. But I don't see any snails here on your island right now. Maybe it's time of day. That, yeah, that might be what it is. Oh, there you are. Ooh. Green foliage is the forage is the tastiest. I was looking forward to picking huckleberries. All went, dude. You and me both. That's why I said you're really gonna like this character because you like bees and beekeeping stuff, and mm. he also likes huckleberries, just like you. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you can't pick them, but otherwise, yes. I think that's why he was looking forward to it all winter. Oh, <laughs> I think that's why he said that. that. Makes sense. Careful catching redeemed. <laughs> well, how did that feel? Nice, right? <laughs> you can keep the net. You've got a te you got great technique. I can see you becoming an avid critter catch critter catcher. Okay, I can Now do that. that's a that's a hard thing. Avid to critter say. catcher, avid critter catcher, avid critter catcher. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, critters can leave you little gifts if you add them to a conservatory. But that's for later. The mayor said not to overwhelm you. You know, there are many critter collectors on this island. If you catch a critter, you can always sell it. There's always someone in Azoria who'd like to buy. Okay, so this is what I was going to say. That's something I'm excited about because I want to, like, discover all the critters and mm -hmm. stuff. I think that's fun. You can sell just about anything, really, and then you'll earn florins. That's local currency, if no one told you. Florins. So, that's that's been used before. That's interesting. Well, selling things is really Pearl's specialty. She's the chairwoman of the Merchants Guild. She's kind of a big deal around here. I'm sure she would love to tell you all about selling things. You can find her in the town center marketplace. It's been a real pleasure chatting with you, Hazzy. Okay. So did you get a follow there? <laughs> no, you got a follow. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I know y'all are watching this on YouTube right now, but I have it. I have a. Uh, I have like the alerts on for Nord's stream, <laughs> and I didn't expect it to happen. Yeah, that's just, during... it's just weird that that was happening while we're chilling. <laughs> And Nord was like, wait a minute, are we streaming? Yeah. I'm like, hold on a second. Like... <laughs> All right, so we're going to... I'm confused. 
at all. <laughs> uh, I don't know who, who... Are we going to Pearl? Is that what you said? I think... Okay, yeah. Yep. Okay, no more. This. You see a different one that I haven't caught yet. Let me know. Different bug? Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. We're going the wrong way. Do you not have to sleep? Um, I haven't slept yet, but <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I don't think it does like what Stardew Valley does where it passes you where out. Collapse. Yeah. Yeah, thankfully. Jeez. Yeah. Good to see you. Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a new face in Azoria. Hard earned Florin. <laughs> Hello, fellow entrepreneur. You must be Hazzy's. Fantastic to meet you. I'm Pearl, the head of the Merchant's Guild. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pockets that you'd like to get rid of, am I right? What yeah. if I told That's you? That's been happening, yes. <laughs> what just if... been chucking it as you go. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have... I need more baggage space. And this you... is always the truth. Yeah, yeah, always. I This is probably the worst for me because I'm not really good at keeping my inventory organized or clear. I pick up everything and I don't organize it. I don't do this in real life. In real life, I think I'm fairly you organized. You are very selective. Yeah, but... In game, I'm just like, it's uh, not a thing. I don't know what it Ooh, is. Ooh, that could be useful for later. <laughs> what Three if... years later. <laughs> I'm <laughs> hanging on to it, all right. Uh, what if I told you you could turn that random junk into cold, hard florins? <laughs> it's true. You can sell that stuff for florins right here and now. Well, in the market and the money isn't deposited automatically. Now's not the time for questions. It's time to learn. Pay attention because what I'm about to say may change your life. Don't ask questions, damn it. Just, just take the money. Everything in Azoria sells. Everything. Plant fibers? Sold. Clay? Sold. Spring peeper? Sold. Uh, what? And it's so easy. A chiku could do it. See, in the middle of the market are tables. You put something on those tables and by the next morning, it's sold. I know what you're wondering. Who's buying everything? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Azoria simply has a healthy economy full of buyers who are hungry for junk and gems alike. That's why. Don't question the economy. <laughs> it happens. It just works, okay? If you look into it, we'll know. <laughs> like, uh, uh, oh all right, lady. <laughs> that doesn't sound threatening. <laughs> That's why I have a pillow. Oh my god, it kind of reminds me of an Animal Crossing, like, uh, Tom Nooks. He's just, like, super, super capitalist. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I have a pillow that says, One Azorian's inventory is another's resources. Try putting a few things on a marketplace table to sell them. Mayor Merritt will be so happy you're participating in Azoria's economy. Find her when you're done. Okay, so we're gonna go to these tables. We're gonna put some things on it. Okay, let's put let's put some critters on it for right now. Put the butterfly on it, and let's put both of these um, lightning bugs. Maybe you can put a moth on it too. I know they said we only need to put three, but I figured we might as well. Okay, now let's go talk to Mayor Merritt. Uh -huh. Hello there. Happy to have you around. Let's redeem our class. Redeemed. Chapter one completed. Whoop whoop. Okay. And we are done reviewing this. We only got critter catching for 40 florins. And a new day begins. Chapter 2, A Thorny Problem. And I will probably bring this back for Chapter 2 later, but I wanted y'all to see the beginning of this and how this um, is plays out, how the game plays out, the beginning part of it does. So we'll probably be playing more of this in the future. Also, I might be bringing this to stream, to my stream, because it feels like something that we could play on stream because we're going to be playing a lot more co-ops on the Hazzy and Nord uh, stream channel. 
Um, so if you want to see that played over there live, just go ahead and follow. The link should be down in the descriptions. But um, with that, we are going to take off. Thank you so much, Key Mailer, for the key. Thing. And thank you, Phoenix Labs, for working on the game. I've really enjoyed this so far. I think it's adorable. Um, I know I saw some complaints about they wanted more dialogue with the characters, but it fills it fills the the boxes like it checks off the boxes that I want mm -hmm. in a game like this. So for me, it's good, and I think it's adorable. Um, so it's perfect and cozy for me. I could see you losing a lot of time on this one. Yeah, um, yeah, and it's not like hard too, so it's great for beginners mm -hmm. and or if you're like somebody who just like by the end of the day, like in the evening, like when I don't have a lot of brain energy left i just this is something that you're looking you, to chill yeah and this is perfect game for that so if y'all are interested in wishlisting or purchasing the game if you go down in descriptions um there will be a steam link down there okay thanks for hanging out with us y'all and watching a farm the first chapter i will see y'all later peace take care bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.